Hey, it's Jeremy from OpticHouse.com. So one of the things I promised myself I would start doing is that if I recorded a bunch of videos, instead of just letting them wait, sit around, and then record the audio, you know, sometime down the road, I would try to record the audio while, you know, either right after I've recorded the video or within the next day or two. So, this is a continuation of a commission sketch that I um, started working on from Amazing Arizona Comic Con. And when I first started this piece, I was originally planning to do all of the background in marker. And part of that was going to be so that I could see the lines, this guy is tied up on a, a bed. And I drew in, you know, the lines from the bed so that, uh, I figured with marker I'd still be able to see them through well enough that I could come in with tone and um, and use the lines I initially laid down. And right there you saw a little oopsie when I was, you know, painting it with this red paint. I got a little bit on my hand and then I got it on her face. So I had to go with a little white out and splash that out. But, you know, that's kind of the beauty of working in acrylic is that uh, you can just kind of go in and paint over stuff and it doesn't come out right. I mean, you know, we shouldn't say it's all about acrylic because you can pretty much white out stuff on a comic book page. You especially when you're working digital you've been painting stuff out all the time so but anyway I decided to instead of using marker to paint all of this red I figured I'd just switch and use acrylics mainly because I haven't painted in a while and also because I looked over at my my red markers and I think um one of the red markers I had laying around was a rather older one I really didn't think it would have the, the enough juice left in it to finish this much red on the background. So I thought, let me just go and break out some actual paints. And I went in here and basically had to just restart painting uh, the the folds and wrinkles in the bed from there. Their bodies laying on it. Basically just redoing it, making it up all over again. Which, you know, I was, I was making it up the first time. But for some reason, things always feel more when i do them in pencil i don't feel as concerned about them like i i go in and just follow my instinct but when i'm doing it in paint sometimes there's something about the the lure of the the material how loose painting is that sometimes i forget what the paint is supposed to be depicting and i get drawn into just the the sensation of laying down the the medium so painting is very seductive in that way, and you kind of have to try and keep your head and your wits about you. Otherwise, you will just get sucked in and splash stuff all over the place. And it makes me actually have a bit of understanding for, for abstract painters in the sense that, you know, it, it's just fun to lay material down. Um, but yes, I tried to stay cognizant of that I was supposed to be drawing uh, areas of folds that corresponded to the places where their, their bodies were laying down on the on the, the the bed and considering the fact that I didn't sit down and actually look at cloth material for reference it still is me just sort of fictionally making stuff up you know when in doubt it's always better to have reference but for uh, a commission sketch I kind of just said all right let me just go with instinct here um, not every piece has to be researched to death sometimes you just sit down and have fun with this and in fact, as I was working on it, my wife kind of passed through the room. She saw it in progress. She looked over and she says, you should paint more often. I like it when you paint. <laughs> I was thinking, well, shit, I like it when I paint too. So she's right. I do need to paint more often, uh, particularly because I've been posting videos of uh, digital work. And it's been quite a long time, not, since, uh, not just since I've inked a comic page, but also since I have sat down and done traditional painting. So... In the next video I post, I will actually go in and lay inks. So it's kind of a melding of painting and my comic book uh, inking style. But this is probably the most painting I've done in ages, and I enjoy it. I'm going to try and do more. That's it for now. Check out my website, OpticHouse.com, and go be creative.